Before we start, let me ask you the question. Did you ever struggle with EQing your orchestral instruments? Because I did when I start my composing journey. And from my perspective, this is mostly the reason of the information environment of the internet. Because firstly, you should seek for the relevant information and then some of the information can be comprehensive, but some may not. And at the end of the day, may leave you with more problems when we talk about EQing your orchestral instruments. So one day I sit down and I wonder whether there is any option to prepare the tool which can resolve some of the problems or at least leave you with a good starting point for further tweaking your specific instruments with the specific information and settings. And in this respect, I prepare Orchestral EQ Advisor, which I hope resolves some of your EQ problems. And mostly important, this tool is free to download on my Buy Me A Coffee channel. So grab it, try it, or leave it if this tool is not for you. But for now, let's dive shortly into some of the features of this tool. So after downloading the tool, uh, you should extract the file and you will see these icons. And the most interesting one is this Orchestral EQ Advisor. So double click it and the tool will open in your default web browser. So as you can see, the layout is rather simple. You have one menu to choose and you can choose the instrument which you want to EQ. What are you hearing specifically? So what frequencies are problematic? And then the context of usage of your instrument. So let's start with the instrument. Mm, let's say that we want to EQ horns, for example. Then what are you hearing? So we can choose whether you have problems with the muddiness of your instrument, uh, maybe horns are too harsh or the uh, lack of presence is the most prominent. So the horn sound is really thin for your perspective. But if you are not sure about the problematic frequencies, you can simply leave no specific issue. Then the context. And from my perspective, this is the most crucial one, because uh, when I um, dive into the internet and find some charts of the uh, default EQing for the orchestral instruments, um, I always see the regular defaults without implementing the context of usage of, the, of your instrument. And in this respect, I want you to have a choice of, of the context. So you can choose whether you want to receive the regular information about the EQing of horns. Maybe you play the horns as a solo instrument or featured only with the one, two or three instruments. Uh, you can also set the full ensemble, so the full orchestra setup for the horns. And finally, you can choose also that you want to produce the hybrid trailer sound. So the sound with usage of the synth, synth pads, drones, brams, a specific percussion instrument, etc. So let's assume that we want to produce the hybrid one and click recommend EQ. And after that, you see the suggested EQ uh, information. So the default information uh, about the most problematic, pro uh, most problematic frequencies of your instruments. So let's start for the very beginning. So high pass filter should be set regularly between 80 and 100 Hertz. After that, you see, as I said, problematic frequencies. So the honkiness of horns is the most prominent between 400 and 600 Hertz. And the harsh sound of the horns is um, usually hearable between 2K and 3K. After that, you have the enhancement targets. So the frequencies which you are allowed to boost a little bit to enhance the sound of your instrument. So in this respect for horns to uh, reveal the body, you can enhance between 1K to 2K. And for the definition of your instrument, you are allowed to enhance between 4K and 5K. Finally, context tips. These tips incorporate the information which you have provided previously. So this information. And as you can see, the context tip for the hybrid trailer one is that you are allowed to um, implement more aggressive EQ settings, especially because um, when we change the context, for example, let's say full ensemble and click again, recommend the context was changed. 
As you can see in the ensemble, prefer subtractive EQ, small cuts across competing parts. And this also uh, can be applied for solo uh, and featured instruments. As you can see, the context is changed and the general lure also uh, will be different because for the general we did not receive any context. Moving forward, you can see the export menu. So in this menu, you will see the specific settings for the specific plugins to export. So um, for my choice, I, uh, I choose the FabFilter Pro Q because I use this plugin. And also I am aware that not all of us use the FabFilter, so I implement also the export settings for the Cubase stock uh, EQ channel and the, uh, for the Logic Pro users, also the stock uh, EQ for the Logic Pro. So uh, let's assume that we want to export the settings for the Cubase. So well, as you can see, this little um, this little menu shows you the specific um, settings for the um, for the horns, bearing in mind those information which was provided previously. So you have choice. You can copy these settings to the clipboard simply or if you want to have this in the external text uh, file you can click download and as you can see i can open the text file and have all of the information specifically in the external text file and obviously this plugin works also for other instruments so as you can see we have the string instruments so violins violas cellos basses the brass so horns trumpets trombones tuba woodwinds um, orchestral instruments so specifically timpani uh, is extracted but also the orchestral drums cymbals metals piano harp choir and as i said also synth bass and synth pads to give you the opportunity to also tweak the eq for these synth instruments not only for the regular or orchestral instruments and if you want to find next the uh, next uh, settings for the EQ for the other instrument, you can simply uh, click Control uh, F5, and the plugin will refresh, and you are ready to go. So you can set the violins. Let's say you hear the muddiness of your violins, and you want the full ensemble. Click Recommend EQ and you will have specific information. So the high pass filter as previously, problematic frequencies, enhancement targets, uh, external notes, and also context tips. Maybe let's quickly see how to implement those settings from the tool to directly to your DAW. I think it's rather self-explanatory, but uh, we can shortly uh, get through it. So we have loaded four horns patch from Cinematic Studio Brass. And we go to our mixer, we find the EQ. And first setting is high pass filter on. So we click on, we set 90 Hertz, as it says. We should set slope to 20 dBs and it is already 20 dBs. And we are moving forward. So the first bell is frequency 500. So we click on 500 minus 2 dBs for gain and the Q factor 1.2. Next, bell frequency 2.5, so click on, click 2.5. Again, the gain set to minus 2 dBs and the Q factor 1.2 and so on and so forth. And as I said, this tool provides you the good starting point, default settings, and you always should trust your ears when we talk about the EQing. But despite of this, I think this tool is really helpful, really helpful for you to give you this starting point, which can give some view on how the sound of the instrument should be rather than finding uh, as a totally blind person the really exact settings for your specific instruments. So as you can see, the tool is really simple. You can run it either on the Windows and the Mac OS without necessity of installation. So I think it's worth to give it a try and find out whether the features of the tool are valuable for you. 
If you have some hints about the improvement of this tool, leave the comments down below. Maybe you want to see more instruments or other features which are already incorporated into the tool. And as always, if you find the video and materials helpful for you, consider sharing it with other people, subscribing and like it for more videos in the future. For the next video I prepared something special which can definitely encourage you to compose music, so stay tuned for the next video. And as always, thanks for watching and happy mixing!